Hello, I'm Chris Parkin and this is the Mauser M18 Fenris in 65 Creedmoor. Welcome to All for Shooters. So you've seen me shoot the rifle, I've used it a lot at the range, I've used it a lot on paper and I've used it a lot on steel, I've also used it for some fox control. It worked superbly for that last job with 93 grain RWS ammunition which expanded perfectly and gave me quick, clean, precise, humane shots. Having a screw cut barrel means I can add a moderator easily to cut noise and recoil. And the barrel is fully free floating, the fore end of the stock is stiff, so if you're shooting from different positions, a tripod or a bipod, you're not going to get any kind of intermittent movement affecting your point of impact. The Mauser M18 Fenris is available in 223, 243, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, 6.5 Swedish, 270, 308, 306, 7x57, 7mm rem mag and 300 wind mag. The barrel is 22mm in diameter and cold hammer forged. It's 610mm or 24 inches long with a 1 in 8 inch twist rate. The muzzle thread is 18 by one for a moderator or brake. The stud on the underside allows you to add a bipod easily and you've also got quick detached stud anchor points on the sides to make sure you can add biathlon sling to make it easy to carry for example. This checkering pattern is very, very exclusive in terms of its looks and functional control. It's actually incredibly good. It allows you to grip the rifle very securely without undue force, both on the forend and on the grip itself. And it's slightly more subtle, but the grip's also got some lesser stippling here, which gives you a nice nestling hand hold there for your thumb, but it never fails to give you a palm filling fit there with that honeycomb lattice, making sure you've got firm control of the rifle without excessive force and grip. The 20 MOA Picatinny rail means it's great for shooting longer ranges. You can zero it with a larger optic like this and it gives you great dialing capability well beyond a thousand meters. Like other M18s, it follows the twin column magazine approach, but this one holds 10 rounds. They're easy to clip in the top, feed into the rifle, and you can also load the magazine through the injection port if you just want to top up single rounds. If necessary, one round thrown in the injection port there will feed to the chamber and close with the bolt. This three lug bolt with 60 degree lift is super light, easy to use, and you can operate it without disturbing your point of aim on target whilst maintaining excellent sight picture through the rifle. The trigger is crisp, it's adjustable from one to two kilograms, but most of all, I love the fact you can adjust the cheek piece for height to make sure you've got great alignment with the scope and also the length of pull of the stock to make sure it's giving you the correct shoulder pressure and especially at longer distances, you can apply consistent force to that to make sure the rifle is reacting consistently to give you greater vertical stability at longer ranges. 
The butt hook at the back allows you to keep it clamped into your shoulder to make sure bolt manipulation isn't forcing the gun backwards and forwards. And it also allows you to put a supporting fist or a soft bag under the butt here to make sure you've got fine elevation control. The single stage trigger is adjustable from one to two kilograms, which is 2.2 to 4.4 pounds. The curved blade is black, it's 10 millimeters wide and there's two millimeters over travel after the crisp break. My rifle had a trigger weighing 1200 grams at time of delivery. Overall length is 1110 millimeters or 43.25 inches. Overall weight is 4.4 kilograms, which is nine pounds, two ounces. Length of pull goes from 343 to 375 millimeters, which is 13 and a half to 14.75 inches. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and click the notification bell to keep track of the regular All for Shooters uploads. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.